Hi children, all are welcome to Ape ICT Panthea. Today teacher brings you the second video of your first lesson. Previously, teacher has uploaded the first video of this lesson. In that video, we have discussed what is computer, what is the function of the computer, what are the things that you can do using a computer, and finally, we discuss the specific significant characteristic of a computer. So, in this video, we are going to continue with the embedded computers and components of the computer. So, before moving to the video, please subscribe teacher's channel. So, then you will be notified when teacher upload a new video. Today, we are start with the embedded computers. What is embedded computers? In singular, we call as Nihita Pariganaka. In your day to day life, you are using embedded computers. In your family, in your father or mother, there is a smartphone. And in your home, there will be a smart TV and also a washing machine. Those equipments are called as embedded computers because in these, within the machines, within these devices, there is a small part of computer. So think in, in the washing machine, you add only dry, uh, dirty clothes and washing material, which means washing liquid or washing powder. Then automatically uh, clothes are washed and dried it happens automatically and uh, in these embedded computers all the activities happen automatically because the computers are embed the computers are established within the device so devices it Computers to perform specific tasks are called embedded computer. Specific task to perform a specific task. Visheshita karya karim sandha. So we'll discuss about examples. Mobile phone, modern TV, modern cars, washing machine, automobiles, robots, and digital cameras, digital watch and color lights. There are many more examples for embedded computers. Then we will move to component of computer. Parigana ke sanrachaka. Okay, before move to the lesson, I will show you a small video. Let's watch it. Little Birds Entertainment presents Computer Parts CPU Monitor Keyboard Mouse Speakers, printer, scanner, pen drive, web camera, UPS. CPU Monitor Keyboard Mouse Speakers Printer Scanner Pen drive, 
web camera, UPS, Now you know about the components of the computer. It means that some devices that are connected to the computer. For example, keyboard, monitor, system unit, mouse, UPS, speaker, printer and router. Uh, there may be more than, uh, it means speakers. Uh, microphones, web cameras, there are many more devices connected to the computer. And based on the functions that these devices are doing, we are going to divide these devices into six categories. We can categorize those parts into, a, into components according to the nature of the functions they are doing. First one is input device, Adanupang. Second one, output device, Pratidanupang. Central processing unit, Madhya Sakasum Maker Care. Main memory, Pradana Matake. Storage devices, Achayanupang. Then communication devices, Sunni Vedanupang. Based on the functions that these devices do, or based on the nature of the function that these devices we are going to categorize into six part now we are going to discuss deeply about input devices output devices likewise first we will learn about input devices in simple we call it as adanu pakram we know the computer is the main function of the computer is input data and instructions, process data and output the data. So the devices which are used to enter data and instructions to computer are called input devices. The devices which are used to enter data and instructions to computers are called input devices. Putala do putte oil that the adane that how put this parigani labadinu pang over to come up again input devices. So, what are the examples? Mouse, scanner, web camera, barcode reader, microphone, uh, then keyboard. So, uh, mouse, scanner, webcam, microphone, and the keyboard. I think you have seen these devices before then what is barcode reader okay when you uh, go shopping with your mother or father uh, to for example kage skills or food uh, or for uh, um, cloth shop when you buy a good for example you buy a uh, frog from a cloth shop and in the uh, cloth in your fro uh, frock, there is a tag. Within the tag, there is a black color line range. Black color line range. So, when the barcode reader is take close to that black color lines, it reads the details belongs to the, the good we bought. So, uh, for example, what is the name of the item and the price and the batch number. Likewise, the details about the frog is belongs or contain in the uh, black color line range. So, barcode reader reads the details and input the details into a computer machine. So, the first category is input devices. Devices which are used to enter data and instruction to the computer are called input devices. So, these are the input devices. Keyboard, mouse, touch screen, remote control, light pen and there are many. Smart card reader, magnetic strip reader, barcode reader. Video camera, digital camera, web camera, CCTV, and the scanning machines, scanners, and microphone. 
then we will move to output de output devices computer process data and output data so the what devices which are used to retrieve informations are called as output data retrieve it means giving giving out retrieve the devices which are used to retrieve informations are called output devices for example computer monitor printer speaker and multimedia projector we have learned about input devices and output devices so we call function of the computer is input data and instruction process according to the process the data according to the instruction and then output the data so processing is done within the cpu central processing unit cpu controls the computer and process the data according to the given instruction cpu control the data control the com computer and process the data according to the given instruction controls the computer pariganake palane karna putte and then process data datta sakas karana according to the given instruction dinara dupades walta anukulawa datta sakas karana the central person is unit is located inside the system unit and it cannot be seen from the outside yes sis within the system unit there is a motherboard then on the motherboard cpu is established so you cannot see it from the outside system unit there is a motherboard and the within the motherboard there is a cpu now we have learned about three categories input devices output devices and central processing unit then we are going to learn about main memory pradhana matakaya the device which is used to store data information and instruction temporary the important word is temporary the data instructions and the informations are it are store temporary within the main memory data instructions and information store temporary when the machine is shut down the all the informations data and instructions are lost you can see a picture of a main memory it's like a half of your ruler and this is also called as ram random access memory other names for main memory primary memory and the random access memory primary memory and random access memory we called as ram then we are going to learn about storage devices the devices which are used to store data information and instructions are called storage devices the devices which are used to store data information and instructions are called storage devices now you have you are confusing the main memory also used to store data information and instructions then these storage devices are also used to store data information and instruction is there any difference or the or those are same no they are different the difference is the ram or main memory is used to store data instructions and information temporary but the storage devices are used to store data instructions and information permanently permanently the ram is used to store data and instruction temporary and the storage devices are used to store data and information permanently stavarever but in the ram it is perm it is temporary so when we discuss about storage devices we can mainly divide it into two parts as 
internal storage and the external storage in the external in the internal storage we call uh, we are taking example internal hard disk abhyantara druda tatiya can you see the internal hard disk no within the computer you cannot see the internal hard disk from the outside internal hard disk is situated in the system unit within the system unit so we cannot see it when we call uh, talking about external storage cd dvd and blu ray and the external hard disk and also pen drive you have seen those things okay then we are going to discuss about communication devices communication sanni vedanaya the devices which are used to exchange the informations are called communication devices the devices which are used to exchange the exchange information now you and me are communicating each other i am sharing the informations that i have with you oya mamai putala teacher putala me karanne sannivedana we are communicating each other so the devices which are used to exchange informations are called communication devices simply what are the devices that are used to connected to the internet are called communication devices first one is nic network interface card so in each and every computer there should be a nic card but in the modern computer in the old computer we have to place the nic uh, as a uh, external device but in modern computers the nic comes together with the computer so we know there is no need to take a new nic for our machine then modem and router you know about those things and also dongle also example for communication device okay now uh, please take out your workbook and do the activity 1.1 do the activity 1.1 okay please do please pause the video and do the activity 1.1 i'll going to discuss this okay activity 1.1 first question complete the following diagram which shows basic function of the computer it it's talking about the basic function of the computer we know the basic function is putta input process and output for the letter a answer is input letter b answer is process and the letter c answer is output please put a correct mark if your answer is correct second question select the correct answer and write the relevant english alphabetical letter in the space given nivardi pirutha thorala adala english akshare liyannalu first one what is known as input in a computer we will see the answers there are answers any method which is used to send out data processed by the computer system a method which is used to feed data into a computer system so input mean feed data into a computer system pariganaka paddathiyakata datta laba deema thamai api kiyanne input kiyala then what so the for the first question answer is b letter b for the second one what is known as output in the computer any method which is used to send out data processed by the computer system 
පරිගණක පද්ධතියක සකස් කළ දත්ත පිටතට යවන ක්‍රමය for the second one answer is b what is known as storage in a computer so the answer is let us see a method which can be used to store data a method which is used to store data answer is c so now you can do the activity 1.2 also you know the answers for 1.2 from from this teacher is going to wind up the today video when teacher start the third video of this lesson i will start with the activity 1.2 so please do the activity 1.2 and join with our next video okay please subscribe teacher's channel and uh, share the video with your friends so they can also learn ict and if you have any question please comment on the below comment section we will meet with another video goodbye all of you